back to another show on life and balance. Uh, we're here today, back at the uh, back at the health center, and we're talking about a really, really exciting subject today. Um, a really exciting technology that's going to help a lot of people. It's going to help a lot of people. We've been, uh, we've been we're blessed and we're excited to to add thermography to our health center here uh, through Metatherm. I think before we start getting into the details of this, I think we want to cover where they can get more information first. Uh, going to our website, it's a great navigational tool to find out any of the information, uh, whether you go to, you know, it's vibrantlifehealthcenter.com. And you there, can just click on the thermography uh, page. page. Yeah. And it's also there, there's also a page on the blog too. So if you go to the blog and you're reading the articles about that, there's, a blog, there's an article about thermography. That you can go in there, but there's actually a whole page on thermography. On thermography as well. And then in both of those places, on the blog and the website, I believe also, um, we have, if, if you're reading things, you say, hey, this is for me, I really want to get involved, you want to go ahead and book an appointment, you can, there's a place on both of those sites, you can click and, and get more information or book an appointment right online so you can really make it easy and get a hold of us and uh, really get in the schedule. We're going to talk about, you know, breast health and, and overall health, that this, this machine is really going to make a difference. I know you have a special going on right now. You want to tell them about that? Uh, the special as far as the Titron scans that we're talking about. Yes, the Titron scan, uh, that special goes on throughout all of, all this month and uh, even beyond. And so what we're doing is we, we're, it's a free Titron scan. You can come into the office. We're going to do a Titron scan. If you don't know what that is, it's the first time you're catching the show. We've done the show on this last, last, last week. week's show. Yeah, last week's show. We did it on the Titron. Uh, we have a other couple of videos on Titrons out there. So you can catch the information of how powerful this tool is to show us what really is planking your system. Right. And there's also a full blog on it, so you can go there and read the blog too. Well. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's great information. So, uh, and, and again, that's an offer for you to come in and have that service done for free. We'll sit down and go over it with you, share with you what it's telling us, what we should do, and give you some suggestions of one of the next steps. And uh, then it's your decision. There's no, you know, you don't have to right. purchase right. anything. It's up to you if you want to move forward in, in that direction. On top of that, they also have a special right now for uh, getting your uh, neutrinos. Neutrinos. Yes. Like the body composition energy. analysis that we talk about. Yes. And and that's a special deal because normally it's a hundred dollars and it's like twenty seven. It's twenty seven dollars. You come in, you get a complete body composition analysis. The things that you're going to learn in that appointment are amazing. Um, I, I, I really. And I, it amazed me so much that it moved me to do the program in the first place before we even had it here. So, um, and so it's really going to teach you a lot about your body. And that is uh, $27. You really don't want to miss that opportunity either. So today we're talking about thermal imaging. So, you know, they have a lot of acronyms in there. It's like DITI. DITI, Digital yeah. Infrared Thermal Imaging. The DITI is what it stands for. Um, there's a lot of different scenarios in here, but really... Uh, when we talk about infrared thermography as use in an office like this, uh, one of the first things to mention about this is that we are actually what's called a metatherm center. And what that means is metatherm is the number one thermography uh, system in the world. So Not just in the nation. Specialized uh, proprietary technology. Proprietary, you know, the cameras are special to them. And the other really unique thing about it is the system of support behind it. Because a lot of times you're going to come to a health center and say, well, they're going to do a, a thermography on me. Well, and, you know, who's going to read it? Is Dr. John going to read it? And those types of things. Actually, no. What's going to happen is, much like you would go to the, one of the bigger MRI centers or things like that, your thermography is going to be put into the system. And the minute that we're done running that thermography, it is actually uploaded into Metatherm system. Metatherm has 13 different uh, radiographic thermographers. That are radiologists. Essentially, like and radiologists that read, like exactly. you know, X-rays. Exactly. And, and when they are radiologists, they have a specialty in thermography. And, and so they're going to read it. And so you have over 75 to 80 years of concentrated knowledge looking at your thermography. And you're going to get a complete report back what they have seen, what are their suggestions, what's going on. So as you go through this process, you have a very, very reliable, dependable, and, and accredited system of how this is going to be handled so and that gives you as a doctor a high level of confidence absolutely going to be working on absolutely when we get this information i have utmost confidence it is that it's it's great information diagnostically to tell us what are the next steps we need to look at how do we treat it those types of things and that's really why we have this here mm -hmm. is to give people an opportunity to know a what is root cause 
And then B, gives the doctors involved, whether it's myself and what we do here in the office or if we're gonna refer you out to some other service, what are the specific tissues you're dealing with so the protocol can be very specific to the issue, not general. So I know we're gonna be talking about breast cancer at the beginning of the show here. For, yes. So, because this, this technology really helps with breast cancer a diagnosis right away. And tell us about you know the difference between you know like a mammogram and something like this. Great question. But a mammogram is something that is it's like an X-ray. It's got radiation to it, and it looks for uh, bulk. It looks for substance. I guess is the best way to put it. To put it, somebody can understand it. It looks for calcification. Is a is a term for it. So where are the masses? Where what's going on in the body? Where are the abnormal findings? And typically you'll find microclusters or those types of things. There's a lot of different things they look for in a mammogram. But it essentially is an x-ray. It shows contrast right. and in a picture. And it's, I think it's important to understand that x-rays are high energy beams that are being shot through you. Yes. And there are consequences. Certainly. Yes. So there's lots of studies that show that getting lots of x-rays cause cancer. Well, that's a great, you, you have a great point right there because when you take a look at it, based on the research they're doing, because the protocol that we used to have for females when it comes to breast, breast screening was from 30 to 50 annual mammograms. And because of all the radiation that they found through the last pieces of research that Mayo Clinic even has produced here, um, they cut it. They've changed it. So they've changed the standard of practice where from 30 to 50, you don't have an annual anymore because the radiation is because too severe. Because you're getting severe. too much radiation. Right. You're being radiant. You're being cooked. Yeah. yeah microwave. And so <laughs> now it's only 50 and beyond that we're doing annuals. And then 30 to 50, well, that's where thermography has come in. It is an FDA-approved adjunct service to mammograms. So that's where this comes in because now this gives you a step of screening, it gives you peace of mind, which is very critical for our health and preventative measures. It gives you a safe measure, a safe a aspect of safe service to get, get the uh, screening done without any harm to you. Uh, and you can do this over and over and over again. You know, it's not gonna hurt you. It's right, not there's no good. radiation that's coming and through so, it. It's really good. So when you take a look at it, when you look at this change in protocol, a lot of people don't even know this protocol change has happened yet. And so this is a standard change that's happened. And so we are offering a service to step in the gap because if you don't have thermography, the only two methods you have is self-examination and you know, a, you know, a doctor uh, examining. examining you. And so those are really bad options because you're... And, and again, how long, I mean, how long do you have to, before that you can actually, a mammogram will actually detect breast cancer? Great question. Uh, eight years. It takes eight years for the cell structure of a cancer to actually have enough to show up on a mammogram in the sensitivity so of mammogram. Have enough tumor tissue to actually exactly. show up. It has to be eight years. Has now, how long years. does it take on the thermography? Thermography can show it in a year. Wow. That is a, That's a big, big deal. difference. And, and I, I think the way I look at it, from a cancer perspective, the earlier you detect something, exactly, the greater the survival rate. The, that's the, the research is out there that shows that, that there's no doubt about that statement is that when you can get this earlier you can specifically identify things and you can change the course of your prognosis because you have early detection. And again this is uh, essentially a non-invasive type of thing. I Absolutely. mean there's no needles, there's no electricity, no. There's, no there's, no, there's no contact. Right. There's not even anything that's going to touch your body in this situation. You're standing in front of the camera and the camera mm -hmm. shoots you and then you get yep. the remark. As a matter of fact I got some, some pictures here that I'll show. So here's some thermographs of women's breasts, and you can see the, the break in symmetry, especially on this one right here. Yes. You'll see that one of them is, is red and the other one's like green. So the green right. is normal, and the bright red means that something happened in there. Absolutely. And it shows up. Here's, a, again, normal and fibro, uh, fibrocystic... Uh, Fibrocystic, uh, fibrocystic breast tissue is right. what they call it. Yeah. So it, it really is a pretty cool technology. And, it, and again, in the second half of the show, we'll talk about other things because it's not just used just for breast cancer. So if you look right. at this one, you'll see there's a whole bunch of things. Like here's the, the, the back shows all kinds of different issues, knees oh, yeah. and so on. And this is a great product for dealing with pain in extremities. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have chronic pain, and they've dealt with it. They may have done over-the-counter approaches. They may have tried a chiropractor, and they didn't get success there. Or they're trying, trying, or they're trying the, the, uh, the drug, the the drug, drug route, route. <laughs> where they're trying to actually mask it with uh, you know, pain relievers and opiates and those types of things. So when you get into that situation, this gives you an 
undoubtable way to look and see how and what tissues are involved in that body. Well, I know that there are, there are lots of studies on thermography. So mm -hmm. Can you talk any a little bit about some of those? Well, you know, there's tons of studies out there. You know, one of the biggest ones that we talk about here, because we're really talking about how successful this is as a screen, is that when you actually just have mammograms as your tool for a diagnosis or for evaluation, uh, the the there's some muddy waters in the in the numbers out there. But you know, they talk about from 40 to 60 percent accuracy in diagnosing what the real issues are. Right. When you bring thermography in and add it to the, the mammograms, your rate of success of positive identification of real issues is 98%. Wow, that's a big now, deal. that swings a heavy bat right. because that takes, again, when this comes, you know, I have patients that have battled this situation with breast cancer. It's an emotional time. And when you can bring peace of mind in that situation, it's, it, it's, it's a life changer. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna guess that you're gonna be getting there with a whole bunch of regular doctors who, who have to send somebody, because you're the, you're the center for this. Yes, uh, we're the center for this in Jacksonville, and we're going to be working with all kinds of doctors to share with them the information we have, and working with your doctors to understand what the screening process is, and how they can use this as a tool to help them, not only with breast health monitoring, but other issues as well, and that's what's really important, is that they understand that. I know on the article that I was reading that you wrote, it shows you know, the average growth rate for a breast cancer tumor, and it starts out at 90 days, it's like two cells. Yes. And at a year, it's like 16 cells, and at two years, it's 256 cells. But this, this technology can actually detect it at 16 cells. Yes. That's pretty amazing. That's you know? amazing. You know, we have a, there's a case study that they have where this individual went and they had a mammogram, and it was negative on the mammogram. They came back and they said there was nothing. And the patient had the other symptoms, because when you talk about what are the symptoms of, of a breast cancer, you know, you have uh, a discharge, or you have abnormal shape or function, or you have a lump you can actually feel. Right. And she was having all those, those issues, and she was like, I'm not understanding, you know, well, how can a mammogram be negative when I'm still, I'm, there's still well, something going on here. Right. She went and actually paid for a thermography outside of everybody else that was in the, system, you know, the situation she was dealing with, and that thermography actually did identify that she had a very small half centimeter uh, you know, half, half millimeter, excuse me, very small half millimeter, maybe 18 cells, right, right. Um, uh, growth. And so by doing that, they were able to go back in and, and they accept, you know, the doctors that were involved, they got the thermog thermography and they got very excited and said, okay, well, now we can take care of this. And there was a protocol designed for her and they did the steps they took care of to remove it. And in that case, here's the great thing. When people talk about breast cancer, you know, the first thing is, well, we're going to take off the whole breast. With this type of an early de detection, yeah, it's, it's a little cut, right. It's just a little thing, we remove it out of there, and it's a whole different story. You still get that's your breasts. a that's huge, a really cool huge thing, right? issue. So that's another reason why this is so important and so important to screen. And it's not a matter of, you don't wait till you have a problem. Right. You come in and start getting the baseline screening so that that can be done. Uh, and, I mean, I've seen women where they're actually going in pre preemptive strike, if you will. Yeah. They're trying to remove their breasts, <laughs> and I'm like, that seems to be crazy to me, whereas this could be tech stuff, and then you could do small surgeries. Right. That really can make it. I know we're coming up uh, on, on halftime of the show here. So today's, you know. Health, health tip of the, of the day. Yes, we want to talk about health tip of the day. We're going to give you 10 steps on how to make you better in 2017. Well, we'll be right back. Don't miss it. Hi, it's Dr. John Thomas again from Vibrant Life Health Center. We're talking about a tool that's going to benefit you today. A lot of people come into the office with chronic neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, sciatic pain, and they're wondering what is the real problem. This tool that we call the Titron can identify where those problems really are in your body without any inaccuracy. So it gives us a really good opportunity to identify specifically what we need to do chiropractically to take care of your issues so we can lead to resolution. Whether that be a headache issue, whether it be a chronic shoulder problem, a neck problem, and through this process of using the Titron, we can identify specifically how our care is gonna be focused on those issues to address what you have specifically. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to question where your issues are. And we can do this because we have a special running right now where you can come in and have a, a Titron scan at no charge here at Vibrant Life Health Center. So we're back. We are. We're yeah. back. 
And we're we get we you know, get the tip of the day. So we're talking about the tip of the week, and it, we're talking about ten things that you can do to make yourself better in 2017. Which is only like three months away, guys. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's it's coming. It's coming fast. Uh, but if you take a look at that, uh, obviously cut sugar. Cut grains, and we're talking about not whole grains. A lot of things that we've been that are made out there are not made with whole grains. Right. I, I was just say, sugar for a lot of people, you know, all you can do is stop drinking the Coca Colas or Pepsi's or whatever. Yes. That's one of the simplest things to do. Soft drinks are full of sugars. Uh, another simple thing you do to do that is just stevia, natural stevia. Yeah, stevia up here. here. Yeah. You can use stevia in, in cooking and in a lot of other different things, like in your coffee and so on. So it's mm -hmm. removing regular sugar is a relatively easy thing to do. Yes. Uh, and again, it's not it's it's not going to change your life because all you're doing is swapping the drink. Yeah, you're swatching out the product. You know, you're not. It's not that you're removing sugar from your life. You don't get to have sweetness anymore. Right. You're just it's swapping just the product different. one for another. And when you take a look at the sweeteners that are out there, when you look at sweet leaf sweeteners, they have the the flavors that they have for their sweeteners. Most people would actually gain uh, enjoyment from their foods if they learn all the things that they have out there for products. As a matter of fact, a lot of times for me, water with a flavored sweetener, the stevia, is like drinking a soda. It's really it is. So it is. It's kind of cool. Now you're getting water instead of you know junk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you have that. You know, we want to eliminate alcohol. That's the other thing we want to do. We're not saying eliminate it because some of the alcohols that are out there and they're pretty good for you. you red wine, there's studies out there showing that's not a bad thing for you. Yeah, but I know, I know my partner likes that. Yes, so I mean that's good for you, but you want to limit it. You know, we don't want to, you know, we wouldn't suggest that anybody would go out and drink two bottles of wine a night. That probably wouldn't be that'd be excess. I think they say one to two glasses. Yep. Uh, with a meal usually is perfect. Yep. That's perfect. So you have that. Um, you drink more water. We we're talking about more water. A lot of people we we live in Florida. You know, it's hot. it's hot, and you need to drink water. You need to get it in your body because you're made 65% of it. Right. So it's a, it's the base foundation of your body. I've always been in the belief that a lot of people who are struggling to lose weight it's because they're not drinking water. They're selling, and you nail it right on the head. And that's what this scan that we talk about does is it identifies uh, cellular hydration. Yeah. How and I would bet you when they do the scan, which is scanning for what kind of foods they're, it often identifies that they're dehydrated. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you have that. Um, changing, doing a simple change to sea salt, removing the iodized salts that you have and, and the white salt, so to speak, and putting a nice sea salt in there in place that gives you minerals and all those types well, of things. Well, like I, I see you have like a Himalayan type, that was a Hawaiian salt. Yep, Hawaiian or salt. Like a pink salt. It's a Hawaiian Mediterranean, Mediterranean salt, yep. Yeah. And so, you know, that's going to give you minerals in, in your salt intake. And so that's a really good form. So yeah, a lot of people think that uh, doctors for years have said how bad salt is for us. But that's really not true. That's actually not the case. Right. Salt, you know, and again, within moderation, we're not talking about, you know, eating yeah. it out of the bottle. But um, when, you, when you're talking about this, it adds so many things. And when it's the true mineral, and that's why you go to a sea salt. Because right. sea salt is the natural mineral. It's not synthetic. It's right. not Most people don't realize that the, the white bleached salt a lot of the stuff that's good for you has been eliminated. That's why it causes that imbalance. Yes. Because all the other stuff is not there. Right. And so you have a, you have a mixed match, yes. so to speak, for your body. So that's another thing. Add probiotics. I'm a big proficient of probiotics in the body. Uh, you know, the things that we do, the, the toxins that we eat in our foods, the abuse that they put through our system can kill the, the probiotics. The antibiotics that people yep. were, the doctors were say, oh, you got a sniffle? Here, take it That's right. It, you know, definitely. If you ever have a question on probiotics, call the office and we'll definitely guide you in the right direction of what to use. Um, because probiotics are a very important aspect of digestive and, health. And the quality is way across the board. So it could be junk. The stuff that's really, really oh, good for you. I mean, it's a really wide. They even have them now where they're specialized for like your throat or whatever. Yeah, they have special yeah. focused. Yeah. Yeah, focused products. Meditate a little bit. Take some time, meditate. Uh, and, and meditation, a lot of people relate that to you know some of the religions out there. Meditation can just be something simply where you're taking time to relax, listen to some music, some mm -hmm. downtime, some you time. That's what I always call it. So you can do those types of things. And I would also tell people that, I mean, I do a lot of walking. You know that I'm yes. a walking fanatic. That's really my form of meditation. Yes. I got my music, man, and I'm buzzing. And I'm not, I mean, the world is gone. I'm doing yep. my thing. I know my partner, Carl, likes to buzz. Same thing yes. Thing, I think. Yes, so he does that. So definitely that's a good thing. Sleep. Sleep is very important. Eight hours a night is what you should have. That's what they always say. Now, as we get older, we usually go less than that. It's just how we work as we get older. But you want to try to get, get sleep during the night. I would, I would also tell our listeners that, you know, how do you know? 
how well you slept. Well, you can actually measure them now. Yeah, you so can. When I go to bed, my, my machine, little tell me, you know, you slept this much, you moved around, you get up and walk five steps. So I know that my sleep mm -hmm. quality generally is higher than the average person my age because I'm measuring it. If you don't measure some of these things, how do you know? Exactly. Like, how do you know how much water you're drinking? Well, you're not counting the glasses. Because you're not counting the ounces, you don't know what you're doing, and then you can't compare it to what you should have. So you don't have that either. And then finally, get adjusted. It's very important. Next year, make it a goal to go see a chiropractor and get adjusted. Yeah, you'll find that being adjusted on a regular basis, and for me, I usually do about once a month now because I've been doing it for a pretty long time, so I don't have to come in all the time. That nice little tweak yep. just sort of keeps me humming. And yeah, we call it a tune-up. You know, we just keep this machine that he has tuned up and ready to roll, and that's what it's about. And my partner's the same way. He goes mm -hmm. and gets an adjustment like once a month. So. Yep, so, uh, so that's the tips that we have for you. Those are the 10 things that I would suggest that you do. And if you want to get, get actually a list of this and take a look at this, you can find that on our Facebook. It's our tip of the week. Yeah, so go to the Facebook page, check that out. You'll also find a whole bunch of videos of Life and Balance on there, too. Yes. Um, so we've been talking about thermography today. You know, we've talked about breast cancer health and, and how women can come in and get that screening and so on. But it's not just for breast cancer. No, it's not. Uh, you know... For breast issues alone, fibrocystic uh, lipomas, uh, all types of different things that can happen in the breast tissue that it can detect the differences between and really put you in peace of mind. But the other application can go a long way. Like for example, I'm a chiropractic office. I can. We talked about this last week in our titron scan. Uh, the titron scan really shows, you know, your spine. Mm -hmm. This thing can actually go at the extremities. There's it can look at the extremities. Things. So say someone comes in here and they have a knee problem. Well, we can really take a look yeah. and see what's going on in that knee, and we can again exactly. identify specifically where the tissue, what tissues are involved. And so by understanding that, we can pro you know develop a protocol of treatment that's specific to the problem and no longer really guessing, well, it sounds like it's this. Right. You know what I mean? We want to eliminate that. It actually could show from what I've seen in the scans how pervasive is it? Is it really one little spot or is it like, is like this whole area? So if you look at this picture of this guy, his whole shoulder is like sort of inflamed. And it's really a great complement to the titron. Because the titron is looking at that spinal column and all that other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And now this can look at the extremities and tie it all together. Absolutely. And Absolutely. It's, it's really amazing how well it shows mm -hmm. smaller type things like an ankle or an elbow. Or, so all you golfers out there, you guys who are into all kinds of weekend warrior sports. Oh, yeah. This is a great tool for you. It is. You know, a lot of people don't go, well, I get a little twinge in my arm sometimes when I'm playing golf or I'm doing that. And uh, we can take a look at that, and you'll find out that you may have a peripheral entrapment here in the elbow that's affecting the nerve structure. And here's where the, the real big thing is, is, by doing that, now you know that there's things that are affecting the strength of your muscles in that arm, which is affecting the swing right. and affecting your golf game overall. So to see how it all ties in is that using this diagnostic tool, we can really start to identify problems that you do know you have and maybe that you don't know. And this, have. again, fits into the holistic approach where, unlike regular doctors, you think they're looking at the whole body picture, the life and balance, the whole picture of what's making you work well and what's making improving your enjoyment of life. This is another tool that will really do that for them. It is, and then so by doing that, and you know, again, people who have migraine headaches coming in and getting a scan, we can really kind of start, start to tell maybe what, what are some of the issues, like you said, what else could be involved right. in that scenario? So we can take a look at that. People who have shoulder problems, is it just a finite area? Is it a muscle structure? Is it the joint right. that's having the problem? Do you have a lesion somewhere in here? Um, where are the issues going on with that? And what do we need to do to, to address those issues? Yeah, I, I, again, I know that when, when you come to a chiropractor, especially Dr. John, generally, you know, if you come in with a shoulder pain, it's not just that you got a shoulder pain. How do you get that shoulder pain? They're going to investigate. Yes. Is it because maybe you're sleeping on it all the time or something? Right. You know, or maybe you do a lot of driving or you're playing too much golf. Mm hmm it could well, be a lot of different kinds and, of and, and like we talked about with you, you know, a golfer will come in and he'll say, you know, I've got this shoulder pain, and, and, and I'll talk to him. I'll say, well, how much golf do you play? Well, I play four times a week. Okay, well, at that level, you're an athlete. Right. You know, you're, you're, you're more than just the weekend warrior, so to speak. 
So what are you doing to prep? Are you doing any training for that? Are you doing any stretching after your activities? Those are things that can really, like for example, we talked a lot about your ankle when you had, before you had an ankle problem. What was one of the first questions that said, what are you doing to stretch before and after your walks? Because I knew that was a big part of your thing. And we talked about that because if we can make sure those are ideal, we can really eliminate problems going down the way because your body needs to have those things associated with an athletic event. And again, sometimes simple things are the cure, not the drugs or whatever. For example, the right kind of massage can make a big difference. Stretching can make a big difference. Again, looking at the whole person makes a difference. And this new you know, thermography really can allow you to have the big picture, not just all the little, mm -hmm. little pictures. So that's Absolutely. really a cool thing. I know we got about four minutes left in the show. We want to remind uh, the listeners to they can find links to pretty much everything. And when you go to vibrantlifehealthcenter.com, mm -hmm. you're going to have the links to the blog. The blog probably has close to 100 articles now on all kinds of different things. As a matter of fact, you have a book coming out pretty soon. We do. We have a book. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so that will be really be exciting. exciting. And again, a lot of people will be able to get that because um, when you do lectures and stuff, they'll be mm -hmm. able to get a hold of that book. And we'll probably, it'll be on Amazon. Too. Yes. Yep. So that's sort of so exciting. That. Um, next week's show, we're going to be talking about the Whole body vibration. So whole body, and yes. Again, I remember seeing a, a, a movie a long time ago where it was a black and white, this lady was in the... <laughs> Shake it away. It's and, come a long way since those days. But what was amazing is it actually worked back then, too. Yes, and, it did. I mean, the, the reason it stayed around is because it really worked. So yep. we're going to be talking about those. Uh, you want to tell them about the specials? Yeah, the specials we have. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention on this before we okay. leave it all the way is that if you have had problems and you've gone and had x-rays or something done and you didn't really get a clear answer as to what really is happening, you can get this done still. I mean, the, the issue's not over. So you can come in and get this done and really kind of add to your, your prognosis and find out what's happening. So and there was an actual a neat scan that this lady has vascular issues in her legs. Yes. And, and now with the thermal scan, you can see the issue actual in the vein. In the vein. You can yeah. find out specifically where it is. Tell me a vascular surgeon wouldn't want to know where that is. Yeah. You know, so these are the very, you know, can get deep vein thrombosis. There's a huge fear out there. You can tell whether you have it or not and where it is. And again, if you're worried about that, because again, a lot of these types of vascular issues lead to strokes. Yes. So this is a big deal being able to see that mm -hmm. and then go in and per do a preventive surgery or whatever to get rid of that problem before exactly. it happens. So for specials and in, in, in going forward, the big thing is, is we are now booking appointments for this activity now, and we're filling up. And, and, we're, we're, finding out that, and we're finding out that your pricing probably is lower than most yeah. of the people in the whole region. You might want to come grab it, you know. <laughs> but uh, we're already filling up in November, so you definitely want to take action, call, and get on the schedule for whatever type of scan you're thinking you want to have. And we can discuss that when you call, so that's not a problem. Uh, we have a special going on right now for the Titra. The Titron is an opportunity for us to use this type of technology and be very specific to your structure. To your spine. So it's going to be a spinal scan, and it's absolutely free. Yes. So if you'll take advantage of that, that's a no-brainer. I mean, yeah. like normally you like a hundred buck type thing. Yeah. So you can come <laughs> in and do that, and uh, then again for the Nutrimost program, twenty-seven dollars for your BCA body composition analysis and consultation. So it's not that you're just going to get scanned. We're going to go through it with you, explain it to you, and share with you what's going on with your body, why you have some of the issues you're coming in with. And so we're going to do that as well. That's a $99 value as well. All right. So that's that. And I've, I've been through that program. I mean, I, I swear by Nutramoso. A lot of these other people have all these so-called magic programs, but they really don't deliver. And if right. they do deliver, it takes them like nine months to deliver. Yes, exactly. Whereas this, at the end of 40 days, I had dropped 30 pounds. Actually, I dropped 34 pounds. And how many months ago was that? It was like almost... We're coming on the fifth month. Fifth month, and we're still sitting right there in the same area, and not even getting anything back. And much, anything much, pizza? Much happier. I ate two slices of pizza last night, <laughs> and I lost a pound. There you go. So, so <laughs> there you go, right? Um, other than that, I don't know what else we got for uh, this I week. I think uh, we'll we just make sure you're catching the VibrantLifeHealthCenter.com, getting the blogs, getting on Facebook, making sure you're getting a hold of this content. We're, we're doing everything we can to share everything we have to educate you to be a better, healthier person. Until next week, guys.